Welcome to TacosTheGeeks.com, Justin here, and today we're back with more full anime 2020 coverage. Today we're going to be reviewing episode 2 of Talentless Nana. Episode 2 is entitled Time Traveler, and you can watch this anime on Funimation. You should be watching. And here is a brief synopsis. Nana's secret is in danger of being exposed when a boy in her class is revealed to have the ability to travel into the past and rewrite history. Episode 2, I have to tell you, was tense. I was tense watching this, mainly because, and a little conflicted as well, because we get to see more backstory of Nana and we get to see who she is, um, who sent her there, for those who didn't see episode one, I won't spoil it for you. But we get to see who she is, who sent her there, and what her actual mission really is. And it was a little bit tense watching it because we have a new introduction to somebody else's powers who has the ability to stop time and time travel. So if you've seen the events of episode one... This leaves Nana in a bit of predicament, knowing that this guy can go back in time and rewrite history and find out the truth of who she is and what her mission is. And throughout this whole time, I, I love this cat and mouse game with this because Nana has to be on her toes and she's so manipulative. She is really, really good at what she's doing. And I was just watching this like, damn, is she gonna, is she, is, are we gonna get another person X'd off? And the way she does it is so brilliantly done and so smart. I was just like, props, just props. But the thing for me watching this was conflicted is because we got to see both perspectives. We got to see the perspectives of the talented and we got to see the perspectives of the enemies of humanity. And watching it and I'm going, I don't know who's right, who's wrong. Are the talented actually the villains or the enemies of humanity actually the villains? Like, it, the way they brought up the past and how the five-year war happened and things like that and how on one side you have the, these young kids who are talented, who have these powers, who are immature, who can basically put the world at their knees if they wanted to. And then you have the enemies of humanity who actually don't really who also have like feel like threatened by the talent and feel like they're immature and things like that so it was it was kind of like a, a measure of like do we need people with these powers like think about it like how the x-men were viewed and feared you know by the normal humans like how the x-men would be a threat to you and me if the x-men actually exists like imagine if you pissed off a mutant and they could just decide to set your ass on fire and something like that so i understood both perspectives of the argument but i was still conflicted but nana made it seem nana made me really kind of realize like you know these kids are just talented they're just trying to learn their powers and they're conditioned to believe that hey they're out there to save the world and enemies humanity and things like that but nana the way she's you know she's not making a strong case for the um her side when you see how she's taking them out and everything else what do you what do you what do you people think do you think enemies humanity is correct do you think nana's uh um the talented are are the good guys i was just conflicted i'm still i'm really really waiting for episode three to see if they flush out to really def define who the real villains are I mean, yes, she is Xing everybody off, but still, it's just like, but what perspective is the actual right one? Which I, I, I love this episode. I thought it was very tense, especially when it came up to the build up. They had some real serious suspense of now her being suspected. Um, I really enjoyed it. Definitely a must watch. This actually might now be my favorite anime of fall 2020 or 2020 for that matter. I'm just really in love with this one. Definitely, I'm giving this episode um, four and a half stars. Um, really kind of disappointed we didn't see the return of a certain character, but I guess this is how it's going to be, which I really do like that this uh, anime is having the balls just to write people off, which is pretty damn good. But definitely four and a half stars, uh, a high A-. minus. This is Justin from AtakosTheGeeks.com. If you like what we do here, if you're watching this on YouTube, like, share, and subscribe if you like our review. Most importantly, please visit AtakosTheGeeks.com to check out more interviews, video reviews, 
everything. Um, we cover everything from anime to zombie. <laughs> and of course, Instagram, Atacos the Geeks, and Facebook.com slash Atacos the Geeks blog. Later days, catch you on the next review.